there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to show you how to make your products unavailable on certain platforms, including your website, opposed to deleting products altogether. Now, um, this will be a very useful video for those that do remove certain products um, depending on the seasons or maybe you have a limited time product that comes back every quarter or maybe it comes back every year or you have a product that you don't want to sell at this time but you do want to sell at a later time instead of going through the process of completely deleting the product and then having to go back and re-add the product along with all the different variants and options um, rewriting the description um, you know putting in the different size options length options color options and just going back in and adding you know another product when you don't have to uh you know i think that this would really be a good alternative to just deleting the product and having to re-add it so in this video like i mentioned i'm going to show you how to make your products unavailable on certain platforms so for example if you do want to have your products available on your website and facebook only then you can go ahead and tell your online store to do that if you want to have your products available only or the certain product available only on Facebook you can do that as well so if you're if you don't have Shopify that's the first step you want to make sure that you do have Shopify if you are looking to have all of these options um, because Shopify is the platform that I'm using and Shopify is the platform that I'm going to be demonstrating um, and kind of doing a walkthrough on uh, my online stores on Shopify and I have a link down below this video where you can definitely you know go ahead and click it you can choose the plan that works best for you and your business, and there may even be a free trial. Once you do that, though, um, you do want to log in, and on the right-hand side, you'll see this option. So you'll see home, orders, products, customers, and your analytics. Um, we're going to get into the walkthrough in just a second, but I just want to take another brief moment to explain how important it is to make sure that we have options. And for that reason, I am going to be showing you two different ways to make your products unavailable through this video. So the first way I'm going to walk you through um, how to do this step about four different times, just so that you'll, you'll get it. You don't necessarily have to rewind the video or pause the video or anything like that. And then towards the end, I'm gonna be showing you another way uh, that's a little bit quicker. So uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the saying, but there's a saying that goes, um, there's a million different ways to love a cat or uh, yeah, something like that. But pretty much it just uh, goes over the fact that there are so many different ways to do one thing. And so let's go right into it. So we're going to go ahead and click on products and then we're going to choose the product that we're going to be working with. Before we do that, though, I just want to show you what it looks like on this page. You have like product inventory type and vendor information. Um, so, yeah, like I said, you're going to go ahead and choose what product you do want to start working on. And that's the product that we're going to, um, you know, decide what where we want uh, the product available. So if you want your product, like I mentioned before, only available on Facebook, we can make that happen. If you want it only available on Amazon, we can make that happen. There are certain companies that offer certain products through certain sales channels. Um, so you may be doing like a Facebook promotion and you may tell people that this item is exclusively offered through our Facebook page. If you want to get more traffic to your Facebook or if you want to get more traffic to like your Amazon or to your website. So feel free to, you know, you know, have do what you want to do. Be as creative as you want to be. And Shopify allows you to do that. So I went ahead and clicked on the first option, which is the 25 mm mink lashes bold. And it gives you an option to either duplicate the product or to view the product. You can also change the title and the description here as well. Add any other pictures, change the pricing. You know, you, you can pretty much do anything that you want to this product in this section. We're in the product section. So I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm going to click manage um, right next to product availability. This is going to show me the different channels that my product is on. Um, as you can see, it says Messenger is disconnected because my Messenger is disconnected from Shopify. Um, I can definitely go ahead and reconnect it if I want to. If I want to have my Messenger, messenger messages um, connected to my Shopify, I can do that. Also, Amazon is disconnected, so I don't sell products through Amazon at this time, but I can definitely go ahead and connect it if I wanted to. So... Um, 
you know, these are just messages that you do want to pay attention to. So if you go into your product section and you see these messages and this is something that you want to change, you can definitely do so. So once you click on manage, you're going to see this page and this is pretty much showing you all of the different sales channels that your product is visible on. So as you can see, you can see online store, messenger, Facebook shop, Amazon and Instagram. Um, I don't sell products on Amazon, so I'm not sure. I think it was connected because I was in the process of um, starting the Amazon uh, process, but I didn't create an Amazon account specific to my business. Um, so that's connect, that's checked, but it's not fully connected. But as you can see on the screen, you can go ahead and check or uncheck any different, you know, sales channels that you are no longer wanting to offer on or any sales channels that may not be checked that you do want to offer on. So if I didn't want to offer this product at all on any sales channels, I just go ahead and unclick everything and click save. And then you can go ahead and scroll right back down to the bottom and you can see that it shows available on zero of zero channels and apps. So this product right now is not available on my website. It's not available on Facebook. It's not available on um, Messenger. It's not available on Amazon. It's not available any place at this point. So this product is invisible. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it for the next one just so you can kind of see again how I did that. So you go into your products, you choose the product that you're interested in, right by product availability, you're gonna click on manage, and then you choose the um, sales channels that you no longer wanna offer the product on for this time. And the good thing about this is you can always change it. So although I'm showing that I'm not offering the, the dramatic lashes on any sales channels, I can change that if I want to. Um, I always go back to the bottom just to make sure that it does say that it's no longer available on the sales channels. And then you can also go back to your main product page and you can see um, there should be a no under each product that you made unavailable that they're no longer available on all channels and apps. So I'm gonna do it again for the um, style flashy. Again, we just click on the product, we scroll down to the bottom, and um, my phone kind of cut off the top portion, so the top portion shows like the online store, and I think another sales channel as well. Um, but I went ahead and I checked everything, I click save, scroll back down to make sure that it's saved, and then um, I'll move right along. I do wanna say that there's so many different apps and sales channels that you can integrate with your Shopify store. That's another reason why I recommend Shopify so often because you really do have so many tools to work with and so many apps and different sales channels to pair with your online store. Um, Shopify does a really great job with showing you the analytics based on what you've decided to do too. So if you decided to make a certain product available only on Facebook shop, and maybe your website, you can check your analytics to see how many people have purchased directly from Facebook. Now in your product section, I just showed a minute ago, you can also choose the variants. So if I wanted to just have one option for lashes and then have the different lash styles as a variant or another option, like a drop down menu, I could do that as well. So whatever you want to do, you really can be the like the mastermind of your own business. You know what I mean? Sometimes I would work with other e-commerce sites and I would find that I had ideas and I wanted to do certain things that I just wasn't able to do because either I couldn't integrate a certain app with their uh, platform or I couldn't really customize how I wanted the variants to be. But with Shopify, you know, I, I'll, I'll keep saying it, it really has allowed me to be as creative as I need to be with my business. So pretty much that's what it shows. It just shows unavailable on all channels and apps. Now I'm going to show you another way that's going to be so much quicker. Like I mentioned, there's so many different ways to love a cat. So I'm going to show you another way. So this way you go ahead and click products like we did initially. And you can see the products show unavailable on all channels and apps. Go ahead and click the product that you're interested in. And you can choose here to make the product available, make the products unavailable, delete selected products, add tags, remove tags, and so on and so forth. So this is a quicker way to go ahead and make your products available. So just by, you know, with a click of a button, I can go ahead and put my products back on all sales channels, click save, and you can see now that that message that read unavailable on all channels and apps is no longer there because now the lashes are available. 
Also, I can go ahead and make them unavailable too, just as fast as I made them available. If you were paying attention to the screen, um, a little bit towards the beginning of the video, when I changed the product availability um, for the lashes that were sold out, um, you would be able to see that um, you can still do this if your products are sold out. So even if your products are sold out and you don't have you know, any products and you have it listed on your website as sold out, um, you can still go ahead and make your products unavailable. So sometimes uh, there are people that I work with that aren't sure if they want to offer a certain product anymore going into a certain season, or they're not sure if they want to offer um, just certain variants and certain options. You can make your product unavailable until you decide what you want to do. You don't necessarily have to go back and delete anything. As you see here, it's really, really seamless just to kind of hide the product on your website. And at that point, if anyone goes to my website, they'll be able to see all of my other products, just not the products that I chose to be unavailable at this time. So I really hope that this video helped. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!